Hi everyone! So today I thought I would do a kind of old school video. Back in the day I used to film my monthly favorite every single month. I would share my new beauty finds and my skincare routine and all of that. And I haven't done that in years just because I am trying less and less products. I've asked to get less PR sent to me just because I don't want to change my routine every single month. That being said, I'm always trying new natural beauty products for our online shop. I'm always trying new things and seeing if there's anything really good that we want to stock for you on the website. So today I'm going to share a few of my new beauty favorites. There's about 10 products or so and there are some really good finds in it. So if you've been following me for any amount of time, you probably know that when it comes to hair care, I really love Kerastase products. I think they are amazing. I'm currently using the Aura Botanica, which is my favorite range. It's the most natural out of all of the ranges. And I use the shampoo, the conditioner and the serum. So what happens is that I usually wash my hair about twice a week and I always do two shampoos just because that's the way I've been doing it for years and I really like what it does to my hair. So I will usually do the Kerastase first and recently I've been using this one as my second shampoo. It's by the brand Urtokram which is a Danish organic beauty brand that I really really love. And this is their nettle shampoo. And this shampoo is formulated for dandruff and really sensitive scalps. And I don't really have dandruffs, but I do have psoriasis that really flares up if I'm not eating well or if I'm feeling a bit stressed. So I really like to use this as my second shampoo because I see a real difference. It really helps to calm things down and make my scalp a little bit more healthy. Another product that recently made its way into my routine is the spray deodorant from Avril. Avril is a great French organic beauty brand. It's really affordable just because they don't do marketing or advertising. So it's a great introduction to a more natural routine. And this is so amazing because I was on the hunt for a natural spray deodorant for the longest time. Just because usually natural deodorants are roll-ons or cream sticks. And this is great, this is what I use every single day. But if I'm working out, especially when I go and play tennis, I usually pop into the grocery store right after to pick up a few things. And I don't want to be a stinky self and I don't want to apply a clean deodorant like a stick or roll-on on my sweaty self. So I've been using this spray deodorant and I'm loving it. And the scent is just amazing. It smells exactly like, you know, when you mix like berry syrup with a bit of water. In French we call that grenadine, I'm not sure what's the term in English, but it smells exactly like that, so I really like it. And since we're talking about Avril, this is another product that I started using. This is their body scrub, and I was on the hunt for a more gentle body scrub that I could use every other day if I felt like it. And this is great because you can either apply it on dry or wet skin to really customize the level of exfoliation that you want to have. It's a great scrub, the smell is a bit powdery, which I really enjoy that smell. And I love the fact that it leaves your skin so nourished and so plumped afterwards, I really enjoy it. And I have another product from Avril, it's really one of my favorite brands. I showed this in one of my IGTV videos, I believe. This is a cleansing oil and I just love this cleansing oil because it's natural, it's organic, it does the job, but the real thing that I love is that, you know sometimes you use a cleansing oil and your vision is like blurry for five minutes afterwards? I absolutely don't have that issue with this one, so that's the main reason why I like it that much. Since we're talking about skincare, I rediscovered an oldie but a goodie. These are the Pixie Glow Tonic To Go little exfoliating pads. I forgot how much I love these. Um, I actually don't really like the Glow Tonic Lotion, but these pads are really, really nice. They are great to travel with as well because they come into their little box. I've been using them every single night before going to bed and applying my face oil and I really enjoy them. Now talking about my face oil, I really wanted to mention this one. This is from the new organic range of Garnier which I really thought was a marketing thing, but it's legit. I've read through the composition, I've tried, I would say about 90% of the range, and I'm so happy to say that it's a great range. It is widely available and it's pretty affordable as well, so I really enjoy it. And my favorite product has to be this one. This is the Lavandin Face Oil. I use it every single night. You can tell how much I love it. 
I use it every single night without fail. It's a great pick for my combination skin. The last skincare product that I had is from Paula's Choice. This is the Earth Source Face Moisturizer. This is the one that I use in the morning if I feel like I want to have something very light on my skin. Because I have combination skin, sometimes I need something a bit more mattifying, sometimes I want to have something a bit rich. This is kind of in the middle. This is a great lightweight moisturizer that really sinks in into the skin really quickly and it's a great base for makeup as well. Now moving on to this little guy that I wasn't sure if I were going to include it in this video or not just because it's something that I picked up in Japan and I've never seen it around in Europe so if you know if I can buy that in Europe I would be so happy I will definitely look online and if I can find it I will link it in the description box but this is from the brand Lucidol, I believe this is called the hair styling stick and basically when I was in Japan every time I would go to the restrooms I would see girls using products like these and I was so curious because it seemed to work really really well basically this is a little stick of wax that you use to tame any flyaways that you have if you have you know a little bit of baby hair growing which I definitely have at the moment because I didn't take proper care of my hair for the past few months and I have a lot of breakage and baby hairs growing back so I've been using that pretty much every single day I used it today because I just washed my hair and I dried it with the hair dryer which I never ever do and I have this massive hair afterwards so I use that you know you just do like that and it really helps to smooth everything and if you're doing like an up to you or a braid or something and you want it to look a little bit neater this is a great thing to use now moving on to body products if you've seen one of my last video i was talking about getting back in shape getting back to working out eating healthy and all of that so as part of that routine, I've made this product a part of my nightly ritual. This is by Veleda, which is again a great organic beauty brand. So this is the cellulite oil with birch. I'll correct myself if that's not the correct translation because it's written in French on here. But I just love using this oil every single night before I go to bed. I just apply a tiny bit onto my hands and then I massage it or sometimes I use it with a silicone. And what I really like is that it nourishes the skin. I love the smell of it because it smells, you know, very natural, very earthy, but it really helps to tighten the skin and to really smooth it and make it really, really nice and really supple. And I just love the effect that it has on my skin. So I've been using it every single night before going to bed. You can see I'm like, I would say an A through the bottle. This is my second bottle of the stuff. I really, really like this product. Another body product that I've been using because I've been back to working out. This is by a brand called Better You. This is the magnesium gel. I picked this up, I believe, in Infinity Foods in Brighton. So that's a natural, um, they sell food, beauty and lifestyle bits. This is amazing. If you have sore muscles, if you've been working out, if you've been walking a lot, if you have very sore muscles, this is the thing that is saving me at the moment. So this is basically um, a gel made with magnesium, which really helps to relieve some muscles. So this is a great product to help with sore muscles, and I'm so glad I picked it up. I think they have a spray in the same range, which I'm definitely going to check out because this is a savior for me. Moving on to makeup, I have two things that I want to mention. The first one is the Lancome foundation stick, and this is the very first foundation stick that I truly 100% love. So this is in the shade number three, Beige Diaphane, and I've been using it every single day for the past two months. I think I started using it back in August, and this is actually the only foundation that I took with me on my recent road trip in the UK. This is amazing. I just applied a few strokes on my cheeks, on my forehead, on my nose, on my chin, and I blend it using a flat foundation brush, which I haven't been using for years. And this is great. It lasts all day, although I get really red around my nose and I can reapply this all through the day. It never gets cakey. It has a beautiful medium coverage and I love the setting effect that it gives on my skin. I'm just hooked on this product and I really, really love it. And on those days where I don't want to wear a full face of foundation, bronzer, all that stuff, for example, usually on Sundays, I just like to cook, go for a walk, go out in nature, but I still want to have a bit of coverage. I've been using this. This is a powder foundation from Benefit. It's the Hello Happy 
I use the shade number two. So this is a great product for those days where you don't want to do a full face of makeup but you still want to have something on your skin. So that's it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed this little throwback kind of video. If you did, let me know in the comments down below and I will see you next time. Take care everyone, bye.